Okay, um, little confession to Man Mafia. This is being pre-recorded uh, ahead of our Boston live show. Marty made us change our outfits. We just got, we just recorded last week's episode. <laughs> so for, for all, the grid, for the grid, for the grid. So for all we know, the show could have been a complete disaster. But I think it went well. We're like speaking about. Imagine there was an active shooter. We're speaking about the Everyone's past gone. in the future. This is this. We're speaking about the past in the future. How do you think it went? If you had to guess, how you think it's going to go? I think you tried to strong arm me, and I got in a fight with you backstage. <laughs> <laughs> I think that I got way too drunk and missed my flight back home. And then we had to do a Nick Vale interview via satellite. Yeah. Um, because I'm in Logan airport, um, you know, crying fresh off a hangover, um, missing pills. So <laughs> I think that's how it went. But I think my mafia showed up in heaps. They got way too drunk. Definitely someone pissed themselves. Yeah. Someone um, was arrested and someone had toxic shock. Yeah, I'm sure. Someone experimented with a uh, certain bus boy named Manuel. <laughs> <laughs> that was me. <laughs> okay. Um, I'm, I'm sure it went well, but um, mate, we'll see you next time. We're going to do another one um, in a better city next time. And that's it for today's episode. We'll see Thank you guys. Thank you all. <laughs> no, we have Miss Pat coming up, which she was fantastic. Um, you'll see nice, that in a second. She's got a nice set of hooters, yeah, but I'm feeling under the weather. I missed a pill last week and I still have never fully recovered. This is why you need someone to manage your medication. And that person... Is my is, therapist a better help? Is your therapist a better help? Um, you actually, speaking of mental health, Joey found this game online. It's the self-reflection game and he's been dying to play it. These are like serious, deep questions because Ms. Pat got to the bottom of some issues for us. She, yeah, um, she called me a pill popper and told me to fucking grow up. Basically. <laughs> She's the funny. She was one of my favorite interviews we've ever done. Yeah. Honestly. What a success story. She's the greatest. S explain what this game is. And Why need the board as well? Uh, yep. Yeah. This is called self-reflection. There is no board. No, it's in there. You mean the notebook? Yeah, you have to write it down. Okay. And the pen. Self-reflection. Okay, so I'm going to pick a topic and then... Um, Nothing says good podcasting like writing. Well, you're going to write it down for later because we're going to reflect and see how you did. Okay. If you fucking fix... But what is it? It's stuff. called self-reflection. Yeah, what is the game? There's get, multiple get cards. You get, you get questions and cues and then you have to explain to yourself and figure... It, you'll see. So it's a game to help you reflect and these writing prompts help you I'm like, do why that. you're like things. Okay, so... Um, I don't know how shuffling works. Oh. Just why pick you tell one. Me to stop? I'm not writing. Stop. Also, we'll talk about it. This okay. question is for who? This question is for the group. Okay. <laughs> Okay, when do you feel the most helpful to others? Oh my God, this is like the opposite of what our... <laughs> when do you feel the most helpful to others? I feel my most helpful to others when I know... Usually when I'm bottoming. <laughs> Sorry? Okay, when I know that I'm... I, it's like something I thrive in, um, and I know that like, you know, I can just handle it for them. You mean you haircuts? Mean? You mean Haircuts, makeup? someone fucking up, someone like um, making a bolognese that has five inches of water on top of it, and then it's a pot the size of my dick, <laughs> which is small. <laughs> Um, I'm not calling out any names, but you know who you are. We have been doing. Thank a God I was there. I, it, it was like it was like worse than what's going on in Florida right now. You have been the doing floods that were on top of that pot. You've been doing a lot of haircuts around the office. I have, and, and I, I think a penny for I it. think you've been doing too many haircuts around the office. I think people are taking advantage of you. I I do I, I I don't mind doing it for the boys to get to touch them. I know it's like when the women start wearing bang trims and eyelash extensions. It's like ladies, ladies. He put eyelashes on Content Kim. The other day. I don't mind doing that. For what kind of eyelashes yeah. were they? They were love scene eyelashes from um, Jenna Lyons. Very <laughs> exclusive. <laughs> She's the best content cam. But yeah. you have been doing a lot of that. And and it's interesting because you don't talk politics behind the chair. I never do. Eileen, she can get washed. <laughs> <laughs> so so they come in and we, uh, based on how dirty their hair is, we send them to the back to get taken down. I got a better one. I got a what? better one. Okay. What am I putting off that feels important and why am I avoiding it? Mine is getting my wisdom teeth removed. You have wisdom teeth? Yeah, and I never got them done because um, they told me I had to pay eight hundred dollars um, after my insurance. This was years ago, so I never did it. But now they're starting to act up again. Um, it's just, it. it's, I don't. It's not that I'm scared of them of getting it done. It's just like the time taking the time finding the dentist, going there, scheduling the appointment, the, having to take the antibiotics, like doing all this stuff. It's so much prep work goes into it. You got fucking lipo on your whole body you can't get wisdom teeth out that's not as no bad one can as that see my wisdom teeth but you can feel them have i told you all my wisdom teeth story 
No. no. I, I was okay, so I got prescribed something like sixty lore tabs or something like that. What something is it? Not, like lore tabs, like painkillers. Painkillers. They give, they give the lore tab. They give yeah. you all these painkillers before you even go for your appointments. You can just run with your, your prescription. Yeah. Never go get your teeth done. So like I knew all this, head. and like I had this plan. I was like, I'm going to take them for three days. If I'm still hurting, then I'm just going to like tough it out. And like I had it set aside. Like I'm going to sell this to this person, this person, this person, <laughs> and then <laughs> scumbag. Marty. Yeah, I know. So like I'm like all like morphined out, and I'm in the car ride home with my mother, and I proceed to tell her the entire story like my entire plan <laughs> just, that's my worst fear yeah, is just that's why i wouldn't get yeah. my wisdom teeth out because i'm afraid of what i would say yeah waking up from oh i know I'm the gonna crazy have to shit well, the one question for you what's the question for you what are you putting off that feels important that um, why are you avoiding it leaving this show and why are you avoiding it no what am i putting off that's important i i don't think i'm really putting i think everything yes, that i are. put off is related like to this somehow. I know like, what it ugly is. Ugly fucking sweaters. I know what it is. We have one day to get an ugly sweaters. I've been putting that off. Why am I avoiding it? Because it's hard to think about fucking ugly sweater ideas. No, you're putting off getting um, in shapes to fight Dana uh, Beers and Ruff and Rowdy and you're avoiding because you're afraid you're going to lose. No, um, no, no, What no, is no, one no. small step you can take today toward a goal that feels out of reach? I'm over this game. This game sucks. I love this game. <laughs> this game is awful. What I is love it? this game. I don't like What is it. one small step you can take today toward a goal that feels out of reach? Mine is saving fucking money so I can buy my house. Like I want to, I need I to start putting that. like, I need to like put away money every week. Can I, I help do. you? No, I'm good. With your finances? No. How much money did you spend on the wedding? A wedding in fucking St. Louis, Missouri. He spent, he went crazy on the wedding, but. Two grand. Oh, that's not too, too bad. You just like to live a luxurious lifestyle. Well, I can't beyond fly. your means. I just have to fly first class. I can't fly regularly. But that's not the things you spend. I think you have gotten better on the Uber Eats. Yeah, I've, right. I'm, and Uber's in general. No, you're getting better. You're well, doing I, fine. Actually, I've been taking the subway as well. Yeah, you were doing fine. You're improving every day. We're all improving. Thank you. Sandra, there's something going on between Joey and Sandra today. There's like a little story that's been being told. And Nothing. They're just, refusing to tell no, the group it's, it's what it story. is. It's not a story. Sandra and I, before and before you even knew us, we had a very strong bond with each other. Every time we get drunk, <laughs> we talk about things and we spill. Do you guys we, go we, out together? Well, no, but every time we've been together drunk, we've, we've gotten to trust each other. And we just were able to just spill our guts and fucking be <laughs> honest with each other. So we get a, something that you guys don't know. So we help each other every single day in small ways. Besides, we know we have to give her a daily compliment. That's, that's great. That's, What's that's the story, Sandra? Wide. She can be behind a religious screen like she's doing confessional. Do you ever go to confession? Do you, I, I know the act of contrition. I can say it by heart. I'm a very religious man. Contrition. Act of contrition. Oh my God. Trish. I'm, I'm sorry for my sins. And contrition. And sin and choosing to do good. I've sinned against you and your church. I firmly intend with the help of your son to make up for my sins and to love as I should. That's some that's like a prayer. fucking shit. Oh, I was at a wedding over the weekend. There were altar boys. And the entire time I was there, I was thinking, are these boys getting <laughs> Is that a normal thing to think? Yes. They were like cute little like middle schoolers. And I, I just imagine anyone who's in church and sees an altar boy immediately goes to <laughs> Is that normal? I mean, I, I don't spend much time in churches, but like it, it would cross the mind for and sure. And then I'm looking like, at the priest. I'm like, is he making eye contact? Like, how is it going? Like going, this is boys? Yeah. He's doing that. You look over the priest is doing this. <laughs> <laughs> Things you can't see. Now he's still on the he's still on the big screen. Wait, can you put him in a priest outfit going like this and the thing <laughs> for the thumb? Yeah, is that what the priest does? To, is, likes to do? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I think they mostly get blown. Do, or do they suck the? I think the priest, I don't read the story. I think honestly. the priest knew that I was a. They're like, I want to get this queen out of here. She's they gonna, wanted she's to gonna steal all the good dicks. Yes, yeah. I was young and the same age as everyone else. She was like, she's gonna take all my dick. Joey came in a Laney Bryant belt and a and, yeah, in a pump and a kitten heel. Yeah, and a kitten heel. Now he showed and up and a white patent leather kitten heel to my communion. Are you confirmed? Yes. What was your confirmation name? Augustine. No, no, it wasn't. No, it wasn't. <laughs> what was yours? Augustine. What was yours? That's a Guido. Mary name. Beth. No, my, mine was Juliet. <laughs> I think it was Christopher, Patrick Christopher, because my uncle. Who was your sponsor? One. Phyllis Nitty. Who? Phyllis Nitty. My Who? mom's best friend. Phyllis Nitty. Is yeah. Phyllis still around? Yes. You talked to her? Yeah. My, her, she just had a 60th birthday. Happy, birth, happy birthday, Phyllis. What'd she do for the 60th? They had a party at Elks Lodge. I didn't go. I love the most towny shit. Yeah. The El do you know what Elks Lodge is? No. Do you? 
Oh, that is, if you're from the Northeast and Elks Lodge, it's like a blue, VFW it's, a, it's a VFW blue collar social club and you pay like $30 a year. It's, now, a, it's a old bar and a big, for, and a big room with, with a, with drop ceiling. And, and they have, with, it. exactly. And they have like $2 beers, the Elks Club. That's like Knights of Columbus. You know yeah, Knights same of, thing. Yeah. yeah. Knights of Columbus. Yeah, I that's where we went to the pool. That. That's where we went to the yes, pool. Yes. I can't believe that. So she, yeah, she had a. You don't know she, those, Marty? She I had have no idea. Look them up. She had a 60th birthday at the Elks Club. That's how you know someone likes the party if they say i'm going to the elks club or i'm going to the vfw you go that person probably Does has a ever, drinking problem wait, not it, only by us is it elks lodge I, or elks, elks club? club elks club elks lodge elks club that's how you know someone might have a drinking problem if they go <laughs> hang out now i don't want to go to the 99 their beers are two dollars i'm going down to the elks it's a buck 50 yeah and you pay like you pay 30 dollars a year to be a member yeah oh my god Clip that, the fucking Elks Club. People, will, I, th I had no idea everyone knew about that. I don't know. The only times I've been, I went to a VFW for my friends coming home from Iraq party. And VFW was like for the veterans. Yeah, and then I went, and a guy pulled Elks a gun on for us something be else. because we stopped because we wouldn't stop. Like we drank them out, and we were like whatever. And Elks is um, where I went to my dead friends fucking thing. Yes. That's literally, all literally it drinks is. are three dollars, beers are two dollars, and people get shit faced. And the cops in the hometown always oh. hang, hang out at the yeah, Elks they're, they're Lodge. Yeah, like, they come out. They like, sure you okay? All right, go ahead. Yeah. Like, they, they, no, you you're good. Get, you can't get in trouble if you leave Elks drunk. It God. looks fun. We had Christmas Eve there a couple, it, couple years ago. I think we're having it, it this year again. <laughs> it's fun, but it is it's it is a blast, and you yeah. forget time. It's like a casino. There's no windows. You forget yeah. time, but it is unbelievably depressing. Well, yeah, <laughs> yeah. The food is always the same. It's always like uh, like like overboiled macaroni and cheese. They have the trays with the sternos underneath. Everywhere. We need more water in this one. It's burning. Yeah. I'm with, now these ceilings are flammable. <laughs> yeah. They got the drop ceilings. That's fucking hilarious. Yeah. Down home. We don't forget where we came from. You know who else doesn't ever forget where they came from that made it big here? It's Miss Pat. Yes. You think she's ever been to an Elks Club? I think she's been to worse. <laughs> <laughs> well, she was uh, in jail. She sold drugs. She did it all. She gives us her entire life story. It's incredible. She's very funny. We actually brought her lesbian daughter in at one point. Um, her name is Sandra. Her name is, her name is Sandra. You guys are going to love this interview. So check it out right now. Okay, guys, quick break. Joey and I need to talk to you about HelloFresh. Fall is the perfect time to experience the delicious taste and unparalleled convenience of HelloFresh. Um, they got pumpkin spice recipes. They got fall inspired items all from the HelloFresh market. You can switch out meals that you don't like last yeah. minute. You can do all sorts of things. It makes cooking incredibly easy, incredibly affordable and incredibly healthy. And Joey is a cook and he's used this product. I love it. I love to have 30 plus weekly recipes to choose from. HelloFresh is something that everyone can like no matter what your your, uh, your taste is or no matter what we you're We made eating, one at your eating. house. We always do. I like it because it makes things easy. I don't have to go to the grocery store. When you live in the city, you hate having to go to the grocery store because you have to lug everything upstairs. It's the worst. And I always overbuy too much food and I end up wasting so much. But this, I get exactly how much I need for how many people I'm feeding. I mean, sometimes I will lie and say, I have four people for dinner and it's just me and another person and I'll have double portions. Um, but the great thing about that is you can add things. People have all these different um, food restrictions now so you can kind of customize your meals every week. You don't have to worry about saying, oh, Nora, my friend's coming over and she does, she eats meat or she doesn't eat meat. You can add a protein to things. You can add a side to things. You can swap things out. It makes it so easy and they even do things like um, groceries now too. You can even get like groceries delivered to your house now so it's so customizable and that's why it's America's number one meal kit service and I've been using it for years. Man, Mafia, I know you've been using it for years and if you haven't tried it yet, what are you waiting for? You have to try HelloFresh today. And you don't even need to be in the city to use it. Like if you're living like anywhere and you just want to switch it up. Oh yeah. You've been cooking the same five things for the past 10 years and you just want variety. Try it. Back it's, to it's, schools here. Everyone, this one has dancing. This one has soccer. This one has ballet, whatever it is. You're all over spread so thin. The last thing you want to do is think about what you're cooking. Hey, yeah. go to the grocery store, get all the vegetables, like, you know, portioned out. This all you have to do is chop, cook, and serve it and meals are on the table with under under like 30 minutes most times and it makes it just so easy to feed the family and you can do a family of two up to a family of how many you want and you can even do gourmet options say your husband says i'm bringing you know my boss over for dinner He's like what the hell am i going to make in a pinch you can have a gourmet option it's all there for you, you have a, a fancy fancy dinner party that's made in the table on the table like so quickly it's my favorite thing it's the best so go to hellofresh.com slash out and about 65 and use code out and about 65 for 65 percent off plus free shipping that's out and about 65 at hellofresh hellofresh.com slash out and about 65. All right. We have the very talented, the very funny Miss Pat here, star of the Miss Pat show currently streaming on BET plus and Paramount plus. Uh, we just had a lovely little conversation before we got in about uh, lace front wigs. Yeah. Believe it or not. Uh, uh, yeah. Cause I was, Miss Pat was getting glammed up. I offered her my, uh, my uh, lace glue, but she had her own. She has a glam team with her. 
Mm. She's uh, big time now. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I would think this big brewery white man. Yeah. <laughs> no fucking lace glue button. Girl, <laughs> oh, please. He spent years. Girl, spent I went years to cosmetology school in a bad neighborhood. I know all the tricks. <laughs> oh, <Okay. shit. laughs> you sure do if you spent years in a cosmetology Don't maybe get my hot comb out. Okay. <laughs> oh, shit. Now, he can he's out that, that, that thing. thing. He's out the kitchen, okay? <laughs> <laughs> I know it all. He can he's out that thing up to 305, believe okay. it or not. Now, that's yacky. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Let me oh, yeah. give you <laughs> when you get money, it goes up to 450. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah That's the like thing. That. The high temps. Um, we watched, we got screeners of season two of Miss Pat. And I had, I had, I'm i going to be honest, I didn't watch season one, but I caught clips here and there. Uh -huh. We watched the trailer and we caught an episode of season two. So fucking funny. And I'm so happy that you're having all the success. You know that when it came out, they almost crashed the app. There were so many downloads. Yes, you told me. I can't believe it. On the thing. <laughs> Is it crazy for you, like playing? like yourself in a show, like a version of yourself, a version of your family? Like how much is real versus how much is fake? How do you balance that? It's about 98% real mm. you know here and there you might we might throw in a little thing to make the whole thing come together but it's all based off of my life so it's really easy the thing for me was just to relax and act you know I couldn't you, you got to remember lines and I wasn't used to yeah, that, that yeah. crap so once I got that down the first season you could go from first to second season and see that I improved a lot as an actor actress but you know it was pretty easy playing my damn self yeah, yeah. you and get so comfortable you know, after second season you get comfortable with the staff the cast and you know on set and everything so the first season was hard for me because um, I've been married almost 30 years so mm. I wasn't used to another man touching me yeah I'm kissing another <laughs> man and playing in love and then you know when you act things start to connect yes and the, and the more you can connect to that other actor the realer it gets and and I, I learned that over two seasons people are like oh my god it feels like you and Tara is really married I said we're married to other people right well that's what happened with Trish and I um, yeah. when we started we, I thought he's my on-screen husband and then I caught feelings and I told him then you know he shot me down yeah We're, are we talking about that on the show is that the direction well, I don't think Ms. Pat right needs to hear all that she doesn't need to hear all that I do have a question though <laughs> wait a minute y'all used to date no, no he got no, he no. fell in love with me no, and no, I was no, like no, no. I thought no. you just said you fell in love with oh, him thank you, know you. Pat? oh <laughs> let's just <laughs> y'all I gotta say I'm all for gay couples but y'all don't look good together <laughs> <laughs> he looks like he'll hurt you. I would outshine him as just one of those things. <laughs> oh, well, I'm just saying, y'all don't look good together. <laughs> Thank you. Um, question Can white people watch the show? Oh, that's all who watch the show is white okay, people. Okay, got it. Cool. Just, <laughs> just wanted want to check. <laughs> Believe it or not, the white audience over on BET Plus watching the Miss Pat show. Because when I first got the show, I did a lot of podcasts like Joe Rogan, Burt Crash. Yep. So I didn't have a black audience. Yeah. And my audience that I had followed me from Hulu to Shooting the Pilot to over to BET Plus for the show. So black people realized who I was once I got to BET. Yeah. And it's like, oh my God, where have you been? Right here waiting on you. Yeah, all the whole time. <laughs> yeah, I've been doing stand up. I had my all my life, my whole life before this. Just waiting on y'all. So, but yeah, white people. I my audience is very diverse. Mm. I think it's so great that I watch the, um, the show, and it's it's the it reminds me of the old school sitcoms back in the day. But it's it's yeah. the modern it's a modern take on you know a modern family. Yeah. You know, obviously there you know there was, on the show there's like seven baby daddies. Well, they sw you swear and stuff on the show. It's oh, like I'm not used to hearing on a sitcom like people like swearing because it's online. Well, well, it's on well, it's streaming, it's so you streaming. can do it. Yeah. Well, the crazy part is we on BET. We can say the N word, but we <laughs> but sometimes we can't say other stuff. And that's yeah. a crazy problem. I'm like, but you just let me say N word, but we yeah. can't. So we have a big argument with that sometimes. But pretty much it's open to one. Yeah, I like to sit in that legal room and figure out what the, what the rules are. That's funny. Um, but you know, it's it's a modern take on family, but it's, it's and it's also heartwarming. It's not just all shock value and like you know you have a wild story from your life, but that 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 comes through. But it also there's a family dynamic that is like strong, and there's emotional times to it as well, which I thought was like it's such a well rounded show, and it's so nice to see. You know, everyone sees these cookie cutter families. I mean, there were, we had like, you know, Roseanne back in the day. She was messy and had kind of messy moments, too. So I think it's like, you know, it just lets people feel can identify with it. And it's really relatable in so many well, ways. Not, he's, not trying just to get a part, he's trying to get a part on the show. Yeah. That's what he's he's sassy black, right a sassy white hairdresser in the black hair salon because I can work there. Okay. Well, <laughs> well, when we shoot that scene, I will call you. Thank you, keep, keep it in the Keep it in the memory. Yeah. In the memory bank. Well, yeah. I mean, it just wanted to show you a real family. Like most of the time when you see mothers on TV, they make them perfect. Nobody is fucking perfect. Mm. I go home and take my wig off and take my bra off. I look a lot like you. Yeah. So I just want to relax. <laughs> 
you know, you say, and, and in the comfort of your own home, why can't you have those real conversations? Yeah. Right. And those are the conversations that we have. But does your, like, it's based so much on your family. Does like your, your daughter or your family ever get mad at you? Are they like, why the fuck is this in the show? This was like no. our thing. They don't give a fuck. Fuck you. I'm at work. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and don't bring it home if you don't want it to be talked about. She got that parent plus that. money now, so they don't care what she says <laughs> on the show. Okay. Pretty much. Yeah. yeah. Um, how many kids do you have? I have four kids and I have custody of four other ones. Okay. Oh. Yeah. Wow. Joey's been trying to adopt for many years. They won't yeah. let they won't let him do it. Yeah. Why? You don't have a partner? <laughs> no, not yet. I will though. Oh, well, they I'm don't need no more. They don't need no more. No, I don't have I, I need I need a house first. I can't I live in a one bedroom apartment. I can't have room for a baby or a dog. So I need to like I oh, yes. I'd step my pussy up and um <laughs> and get a house first. Bussy. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> I should have brought my gay daughter here for all this. I know. <laughs> Tell us about yeah. her. Lesbian daughter. Uh, well, oh, she just a, she's a lesbian. There That's she is. what she do. She mm. love telling everybody she eat pussy. Yeah. <laughs> Sandra does the same thing. Yeah, Sandra believe, does well. believe it or not. Did you? Um, now she's lipstick lesbian or is she uh, she butch butch queen. Oh no, she thank God she's not butch because we yeah. were just alike. And I don't want to see myself in no cut off t shirt. <laughs> <laughs> so she's a uh I don't know what the fuck she is. She carry on like a butch. Yeah. You, Cause you I I think she's like to have that control. Is she the aggressor? Is she the is she the more she, like dominant the one? Is she the top? I don't know, but you can ask her. She's out there. I don't know anything about the top and bottom. I'm a girl. Don't yeah. be blown on I don't fucking know. Well, well I never had lesbian sex. Well, does she stra- does she have a strap on? I'm quite sure she got a lot of dick, sir, but I don't talk to her about her dick. <laughs> True doubt. Yeah, other than the time I caught him in the dishwasher. Stop. <laughs> she put her her dildos in the dishwasher? Yes, Stop. Yes. You got to be uh, careful. Uh, if, if that's a poly blend, it'll melt. Okay. <laughs> what? Poly fiber blend. It'll melt right in the, in the dishwasher. Mm. Poly blend. What? Po- po- poly fiber. Is that what a, that's what a dildo is made out of? Poly fiber? I don't know. I just made oh, the word You know up. what I was wondering? Can a dildo give you a yeast infection? Because you, you know sh- a dirty penis can give you a yeast infection. Yeah. Well, if they're sharing, going from from ass to ass to, um, or to crotch. Or p- vagina to vagina. Vagina to vagina, maybe. yes. That, yeah, it can definitely spread disease. I don't think they're I rinsing them off with palm olive in, the, uh, in between the sessions. <laughs> Do you? What? You don't think they're like stopping, with, you know, <laughs> the dildo going in the kitchen, washing it off, and then stop starting again? If I was a lesbian, I would take, I would at least some Clorox put wipes, with Clorox wipe, a little, a little alcohol, mm-hmm. and say, "Now your turn." Yeah. But but people have gotten away from cleansing this. They just, hey, I suck it, you suck it. No, my uncle. Mm-hmm. You know, back in the day when men's ran train, they would at least flip the condom on the inside out. So if he used that side, they used that side. That was nice of them. An inside out condom. I never heard of an inside out. <laughs> well, yeah. Because because you have to um if you have to share it, interesting. Have yeah, you ever shared a condom? No. <laughs> <laughs> no, I never have shared. Wait, how old is your daughter? She's 35, 36, 35. something like that. Got there it. she is. Interesting. Should have brought her along with you. She's here. She's uh, here. And she's room. listening to this right now. Oh, she's in another room. If they're listening in the green oh, room, oh yeah, she come over here and tell you how she like to oh, eat God. booty. Should we get but, her in uh, if she wants to? <laughs> yeah, go get her. She'll love these lesbians. She loves the gay community. Does she have a partner? Uh, many. Okay. Well, she she do it one at a time. They don't last long, but you know, I let her tell you. She swear they last long. We have a running joke in our family. They got to come to three Thanksgivings. Oh, <laughs> what in order for you to like consider them like before I family. lock the number in my phone. Oh, three Thanksgivings. Thanksgiving? That's, that's a, a long number? time. That seems like a long time to lock a number in a phone. Uh, they don't ever last. <laughs> she got one in the running thinking. this time. This one right here might last, but who the fuck knows? So we just have a running joke. She like to switch them out like underwear. Do you have big Thanksgivings, like big family get? Did you, you just move back to Atlanta? Mm-hmm. Right? I just moved back. Yeah, and you're you were living in. Where were you before Atlanta? Indiana. In Indiana. And then you oh. moved back to Atlanta. And that's where you grew up. That's, that's where, where you're from. Uh-huh. Do you have like a lot of fr- a lot of friends and family still in Atlanta that you keep in touch with? Or nah. No one. I don't talk to anybody. No one. <laughs> have you found people like trying to, now that you have all this success, kind of like trying to get back in touch with you? Yeah. All the fucking time. I pick up the phone and say, hey, and I'm about to get on the plane and I can be right there laying in my bed. <laughs> 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 I don't want to talk to your way. Do you shoot the show in Atlanta? I shoot the show in Atlanta. Oh, good. Yeah, that's good. Yeah. They do a lot of television over there. Yeah. They do. And I love I love Atlanta. That's my fucking city. I love my losing Falcons. I, I just love Atlanta. I love everything about it. Do you have so, a Netflix I, special? Go ahead. I do. It's called Y'all Want to Hear Something Crazy. Stop. Tell me about that. I'm just, I was always obsessed with um when comics. I had no one comments make it when they have the Netflix special. That's how I feel. With- I, it's just about my life. It was an hour that I thought I was about to get rid of and start writing another one. And uh, Netflix come along and say, hey, uh, you want to shoot a special? I'm like, hell yeah, for money. And so um, I shot it. Um, Ron Howard. 
uh, directed it, you know. Oh, wow. Yeah, oh, so wow. he directed it, and he helped me out with it so fucking much. And it was it turned out pretty good. That's exciting. How often do you, like, re, like recycle material versus have, like, a whole new set? Because you're still doing stand-up now, or you're just, like, focused on the show? We should ever pick up the phone. We have a rule on the show. Who is it? That oh, if no. you get a phone call, you pick it up I, on speaker. I don't speaker know who this phone. is. What's Del, Del Fortech. Oh. She answer, answer on speaker. Yeah. Hello? Yeah, so did you see these these are really good seats. Yeah, I'm 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 about to send them to you. I'm doing an interview. Just I'm I'm about to send you to Zell. Oh, okay. But okay. send me your email address. You saw where you were sitting. I got I went and got the roll numbers and I sent oh. them the seats. They're great seats. Okay, send me your email and I'll send you to Zell. Okay. Alright, bye bye. I'm, I'm she's got the MJ tickets. Yeah, yeah I was just gonna <laughs> say those are the MJ tickets. Yeah, she's, she's going like, back tonight. She's like, the seats money. are good. In other words, pay me my fucking <laughs> money right now. <laughs> Did you see them? They're really good. They were expensive. I won't ask for it, but uh, yeah. I'll. Yeah. When my phone rings, it's usually my doctor. And I have to shake him down for medications. Um, yeah, calling it some of my test results, and um, I take all whole oh. slew of things. Okay. Why? You know. I'm addicted to uh, pills and injections. I just kind of, I just love medications. I know you're lying. No, right? I'm not. He well, takes too many pills. We're what trying are you to get them off. Pills for? Well, I take my anxiety pills. What are like you anxiety about? Depression. Oh, why are you depressed? You got anxiety and you depressed. Mm -hmm. The fuck is wrong with you? <laughs> I wish I knew, girl. We're um, trying to get to the bottom of it right that's now. That's why we go. You, that's why we use better help. You gay? You got no kids? Yeah. You have no animals? What are you depressed about? I know. It's, I should. I need to come to you instead. I'm a therapist. Um, and you I got a therapist? Betterhelp.com. Code, code, out, and code, code out and about. What? Um, it's a very I, take, I take testosterone injections. Yeah. I take cosentics for my psoriasis. What I got gout. What are you taking testosterone for? You got My nuts. testosterone's low. I know. Barely, girl. They're like, they're like, I'm like the same testosterone as like a 12-year-old girl. I have so, more estrogen. <laughs> so, I'm all woman inside. Your daughter's got more testosterone than Joey. I'm sure she does. Yeah. So with no testosterone, do your wiener get hard? Well, he, this, for. this brings us to another pill, <laughs> Viagra. He just had this Indian doctor Wait just upsold him on Viagra. Wait a minute. How I old are you for with India. a soft dick? 43. You got a soft dick at 43? Well, I think that's when performance anxiety. But no, I Maybe think it's, it's all pills. medications. It's I'm probably the pills. Anxiety make your penis soft? No, but the pills mm. that he takes for anxiety, I think, make his dick soft. Well, stop fucking taking anxiety medication. Well, I also take smiling. weight loss injections as well. You take, wait, but God dang. I have a whole list. Imagine take, we put it here. Wait a minute. You take weight loss, anxiety, and depression, and your dick don't get hard. Yes. And you got and a counselor. And Viagra. Viagra. And Viagra. So you taking something to make your dick soft and make your dick hard? <laughs> yep. Dang. I always go to bed. I have to go to bed too. I have to, I have to take my sleeping pills. That's the one I'm worried about. My sleeping pills? Yeah. What is wrong with you? <laughs> Just get off the get off the pills that make your dick soft, and then your dick get hard, and then you can I think be I happy. Start, I think I should start exercising. That's like the natural don't, way. No, don't you add nothing else to your fucking couch. <laughs> she goes, hold on, oh, no exercise. We're not exercising. Don't be crazy. Let's don't be crazy. Fucking pills. You, you don't want? take any medications. No, nigga, uh. no. <laughs> <laughs> Nigga, no. Clip that and bleep that. You gotta bleep that. We're not on BET, but <laughs> we didn't say it. Oh I my god, it. that's no, so funny. No, you gotta get off. I know, I know. I'm, I'm kind of, I'm getting myself nervous now. I don't want to be dependent on it anymore. But you got you can't just quit. Like when you're on that, you it's can't just turkey. quit cold turkey. No, so you have when to you wean get, yourself. Be quiet. When you get nervous, what do you do? I mean, anxiety. Well, you anxiety can't well, jerks no, off. No, 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 no. I have it's more of a panic attack thing. Like I don't, I don't take I take an antidepressant every day. I don't take anxiety medication every day. Anxiety that's because Xanax is only for when I'm having like a panic attack. Like I'm about to like like die or something. I'm like having chest like <gasps> like I'm having a heart attack. Well, I probably but am. What having brings a heart on that stuff? It just happens. You know. Do you see something? Are you scared of cats? Is Link no. <laughs> make you upset? What makes you up? What give you a panic attack? I don't know. I don't know. It just it just comes in waves. Think about when I think about dying a lot. That's depressing. But like when I why think you about, think about dying? I don't know because it's the I said it's something I don't have control over. I have control issues, with Pat, Miss Pat, pardon. Yeah, well, you so have control you, over death. So we all gonna die. I know. Just don't kill yourself. No, I would let I'm God kill you. No, no, yeah. Stop doing God's work, okay? Yeah. Because if you wait on God, you might live to be ninety nine. So you know, just, just find happier shit. Stop. <laughs> 
You're so soothing, calming. Yeah, well, you gotta. You you know what it is. Can you you gotta adopt bring me too. Some, you gotta my bring mother's some dead. Joy, huh? My mother's dead. Can you adopt me? My mama dead too. Oh, I don't need no big old white. Are you younger than me? Can you imagine what I fit in with the kids? He's in the a house? hell of a cook. I'll give you that. <laughs> no, she would outcook me. No, the fuck I would. Oh, you're not a good cook. No. <laughs> oh, I'm a good cook. You can cook. I like, I mean, what? <laughs> give me the papers. I sign them for you. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'll come over. I'd love to live in Atlanta. Yeah, you gotta you gotta find happiness. You gotta stop thinking about dying. Thank we you. We all gonna die any fucking way. Come up off some of those pills. If your dick gonna be soft, let your dick be soft. Ain't uh, it? Wise you words. Always stick your dick in the freezer and make it hard. Yeah. And use it before it unthaw. There you go. Yeah. Don't don't you can't be letting when you you get what you speak into your mind is what your body will take control of. If I think you it's say you depressed, you will be depressed. Yeah. If you say you happy, you will be happy. So when you walk by something and you get the breath, huh, huh, you say, oh, no, motherfucker, I'm not going to have this panic attack. You swallow it and you keep you going. You actually take control of yourself. Yeah. Mind over body. I guess. Yeah. I don't know how you do your body with your mind. Why eat two slices of pizza today and don't tell anyone? Well, ain't nothing wrong with eating pizza. Oh. If you choose to be fat, it's okay to be fat. Everybody Thank can't look like him. True that. Now she's going to get a big Do head. you have a man? I'm talking to someone. I'm seeing someone. You like him? Yeah. He white? Yeah. Well, start on the other side. Come to the black part. <laughs> oh, I would love him. Girl, I don't think I can handle that back in the back door. I just become a top. What, what, I also have a tight asshole. How you know? You stuck your finger in it? I tried to and it hurt. Actually, well, Marty. Why are you get me? <laughs> no. um, if your booty hole that tight, you might need to try something. I know. You might need to try vagina. Oh. Have you ever? No. Have no. you? Yeah. Once have you ever dipped in the, the lady pond, yeah. Miss Pat? What? Have you ever dipped in the lady pond? What the fuck is a that? A lesbian experience? I don't like my own pussy. Yeah. <laughs> I ain't fucking with no vagina. I've seen my drawers when I take them off. They like band-aids. <laughs> they stick to me. <laughs> I can't do no underwear. I can't do vagina. It leaks too much. Speaking it, of no underwear, are you friends with any Atlanta housewives? No. No, they never tried to, to be friends you I now? Mean, that I, you're, I know candies and a couple other people, but I don't hang out with anybody. No. I'm always working. Why? You like the housewife? No, it's, I just can imagine like, you know, that you're uh, this, like, you know, a big celebrity there. I went um, in Atlanta. They probably like rub elbows with you. Have you ever been to the Lanethia Cafe? No, what's that? That's Nene Leakes Cafe. It's in a strip mall. I haven't been there yet. I, I the Lanethia, it. it's called. The Lanethia. <laughs> they do Gay Pride Sundays. You and your daughter should go. Uh, what the fuck am I going to Gay Pride for? With your sister. I mean, with your daughter. My daughter gay ain't gay. Well, they have, good, they have good drink go special. No oh, you didn't even swing. drink. <laughs> huh? No, it's not gay. No, it's, less, it's, it's LGBTQ. It's everyone. Well, I'm not LGBTQ. We're not included. <laughs> Ain't no S in there for straight people. <laughs> no, maybe <laughs> the, the plus. About? We could be the plus, the S. No, you can't. I'm just straight. It's LGBTQ. It's for all of you. Trish, guys. you want to tell her your problems? So I she don't. Can help oh, you? I don't think. I don't want to follow that. Act. She's moving I don't think her, I can top that. She's act. moving with her incredible. boyfriend. She's moving with her boyfriend after after only eight months of dating. What do you think about that? Nine months. Say she. Oh yeah, her. Yeah, we we use pronouns. We change we change them out through the telecast. Oh, oh, well, what am I? What do you feel right now? Do you feel? Are you feeling? Are you feeling? <laughs> feeling butch, fish? Are you feeling, butch queen? are you feeling fish? Butch queen up in yags for the first time. <laughs> butch queen. Butch queen realness. <laughs> what the fuck is butch queen? <laughs> That's I'm jelly. That's what jelly is. Uh, I'm just feeling. That like was me. That was butch queen when I showed you the weather girl. That's I, butch queen. Just, yeah. no. <laughs> butch queen up in pumps. <laughs> do you like a kitten heel? You look horrible. I know. I look my varicose veins. I should wear pantyhose. In this outfit, it'll make you look like you got a big dick. I don't. <laughs> I'm actually tucked. It's just the oh, angle, man, You girl. got titties? Oh, I put them in there. That's a, bre a silicone breastplate we got from mm. China. Oh. Now, he wore it so much, it actually snapped in the, in the back. Well, I got stuck in it one day, and I had to pull it out. You would look good in that dress. Uh, no, I would not. Okay. They are confusing me. Um, <laughs> eight months. Would you move in with a man after eight months? If he paying. He's rich. He's rich. He's not paying though. I'm paying my fucking half of the rent. He's is he rich? He does well. He does he's well. not he's not rich, but no. he like has a better do job. Like he has him? a better job than I do. Yeah, I like him a lot. Do you love him? Yes. All right, we'll move in with him. What's wrong with that? I don't know. I'm just trying to throw shade. <laughs> Since I think like I have so many problems, I'm trying to find a problem for her. She's skinny. She's moving with a rich boyfriend. I've never. Well, you can do the same too if you stop breathing hard when you walk by people. <laughs> I've never seen this much honesty out of you. You are like bringing something out. I know. Jelly. You're like getting to the core of the issue. I love it though. I'm gonna find yeah. you a man. Thank yes. you. How do you like them. You know, uh, you need to start. You know what your problem is. You need to start with your good black unemployed man. Oh. They got the best sex. Is that my gay daughter? Yeah. <gasps> yes, she's here. Wow. 
Wow. <laughs> Hop on and you we are gotta get stunting. You. Oh, Lord, oh, have mercy. It is finally cold out, and that means one thing. It means it is the start to fresh ball fall. It's the season of pumpkin spice and making sure your crotch looks nice. That means shipping, that means sipping cider in a fall breeze and using Manscaped products to trim your balls with ease. Whoever wrote that deserves more money because that's a tongue twister. Yep. And it's also true. Here's the thing. We've talked about Manscaped a lot. Ladies listening, if your husbands have a gross, nasty fucking bush, get them manscaped. They'll clean it up. It'll make the cock and balls look better. It'll make everything look better. It'll make it smell nice. Right now we're advertising the Manscaped Platinum Package 4.0. It. it has everything you need. Uh, the Performance Package plus shower goodies, uh, weed whacker, nose and ear trimmer, ultra premium body wash, two-in-one shampoo and conditioner, uh, deodorant crop preserver, uh, and you're getting a free gift. You're getting boxers uh, and a shed travel bag. Manscaped has everything covered. There's nothing grosser. Like, I love a hairy guy, but there's nothing grosser than a guy where the hair isn't tamed. Yeah, I like the man. Uh, the Sorry, I like the platinum package because it has everything you need. Like you said, now, some of the things that you get in there that smell so good, like the ball deodorant, you spray this on. Like, I want to use it as cologne. It smells like yeah. the hottest guy well, you in do. the world. I do. <laughs> it smells like the hottest guy in the world. And uh, the Weed Whacker ear nose and nose trimmer is so efficient. You just kind of put it in there. Literally everything you need to stay, stay fresh. Holidays are coming up. Get this now that we're having a special pro uh, promo code for you. Get it now and save it for everyone, in your, all the men in your life. Get it for your husband. Get it for your father. Get it for yourself because- Get um, it for your mistress. Yeah. Mr. Riss? Your, your sugar daddy. Your sugar daddy. Get it for anyone and go Go to manscaped.com and you can get 20% off the already affordable Platinum Package 4.0 plus free shipping with code ABOUT. That's 20% off with free shipping at manscaped.com when you use the code ABOUT. Manscaped, clear out the leaves. It's your tree trunks time to shine. Mm. Are you now, did your mother, when you came out to your mother, did she tell you to have sex with an unemployed black man like she told me? <laughs> yes. Okay, she's going with the same thing. <laughs> it's probably going to get life nowhere. Advice. Life advice with Miss Pat. What is your first yeah. name, dear? I forgot. Ashley. Ashley. Oh. Ashley. As we lay. <laughs> As we lay. She named me after that song, As We Lay. Oh. Well, I guess that's what she was doing. So. <laughs> when did you come out to her? Were you nervous to come out to her? Uh, I yeah, but I don't. I didn't really come out. She kind of like pulled me out and was like, "I know you gay." <laughs> you knew, <laughs> yeah, from a very young age. Yeah, uh, yeah. A mother always knows. Yeah, yeah. everybody know when their babies are gay. About eight months. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you, your mama knew y'all was gay. Y'all know for sure. Yeah, y'all was sucking on shit way harder. Yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> instead of sucking the bottle, she was licking the the bomb the, pops. Yeah. <laughs> Exactly. Deep throat the whole bottle in your yeah. mouth? Yeah. So no, what happened know. was I, I was licking her on the way out and she's like, oh yeah, this baby, <laughs> yeah. this baby's gonna be gay. Uh, no, I, I thought when she licked me on the way out, she would never lick another pussy, but it didn't work out. <laughs> It was like battery acid, but I was like, you know what? I'm into it. You know? so. She's very funny. She's not rubbed off on her. I mean, gay, as, as gay people were naturally more uh, funnier people, but exactly. she's got she's got that it factor. I can see when she walked in. She looks she's stunning like you, and she has looks a quick wit. She, oh, I learned it from my mama. You can say that. Well, everybody in our family, you have to be, or you gonna get roasted. So yeah, yeah, yeah. if you got quick on your feet, it's over for you. Now, has any girlfriend ha passed the three um, Thanksgiving no. days tests? No. The three three Thanksgiving tests. No. No, I think my current girlfriend has been a. No, I'd be terrified two. of your mother. Oh my god! Uh, nobody makes Thanks. it past three Thanksgivings. Yeah, I haven't had anybody do three Thanksgivings. Yet. I don't think anyone has. No mm. one here has. No. <laughs> Maybe Sandra. Yeah. Yeah, they, they don't make don't. it. So you I never don't. had a girlfriend for over three years, have you? No, God, no. <laughs> I haven't. I haven't. God no, fuck no. Such Just Sandra, I think. <laughs> It's, but it's something you gay too. No, it's something about. I, I'm not sure. I'm in. A He's room. Jewish. No, <laughs> same, same same Jewish thing. people can be gay too. No, plenty but, of them. Uh, yeah. But it's it, it's something about y'all. Gay people love to switch their partners out like underwear. Ain't Some people the, ain't do. that the truth. <laughs> ain't that the truth? Some people yeah, do. Like I like I like mine to stay around a long time. I like I don't like a lot of change ever. What's your sign? I'm an Aries. Okay, she's yeah. she's um very um what's the word I'm looking for? Dominant. Um, Dominant, but yeah, but also go with the flow. Fiery. She's in the air. Fiery. Yeah, that's it. Fiery. Yeah. So, I mean, I've been married almost 30 years, so I'm not <sighs> going to switch out my partner like that. What's his not. name? Uh, <laughs> Garrett. <laughs> but, you know, my gay daughter, she, my son has got the same girl for 10 years, but her is some is when some you can't, new LeBron James looking no, bitch. No, because I <laughs> <laughs> No, because like so you are so I'm she has a lipstick lesbian, around for no by the dumb way. Stuff like once starts just stuff get just start getting weird and dumb. Like you're not about to 
beat on me or talk to me crazy for years. I don't need years of that to know that you're a shitty person. So once you start showing me that, don't I'm curse just in like, front of me. shitty is not oh a person. God. Once you start showing me that, then I'm just like, okay, I'm out of here. I don't need to be mentally abused for years. What you should have noticed that two weeks in the relationship. I'm not going to notice that. And other people looking on the outside, looking in, is always going to notice stuff before you because that's just how relationships work. You, your head is- You got the, the blinders on. Exactly. So it is what it is. Do you date more butch women? Yes, I you said LeBron Baines looking bitch. Yeah, I was, no, I was, I your lipstick, your lipstick, lesbian. Yes. <laughs> big time lipstick, fem vibes. I don't yeah. know about lipstick because they give me like pillow firm sets. I am, I, I'm a fem though. I definitely am. A yeah, oh, yeah. I'm a little bit more like oh, masculine Lord, personality. <laughs> No. <laughs> you don't let your daughter curse in front of you? No. She don't let any of us curse in front of her. Really? Right. I feel bad that I said Who that. do that in front of their parents? White people. Yeah. White people. True. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. 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 We'd be honored. <laughs> yeah. Well, we're black people. She already, <laughs> called, me the <laughs> she already <laughs> called me the N-word before you walked in. So we're, we're square, we're square, sister. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, so when you cast you the show. You Negro square. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> when you cast the show, were you able to um, kind of get the people that like did you actually um, help with the casting to get the people that looked like the actors to look like your family members well me and like Nicole, Garrett and your daughter and things like that yeah me and the co-creator we did a lot of the casting along with the you know some of the help from the other producers but yeah the co-creator he had a lot of he had a lot of he had already cast two of them the, the sister and the uh, dad before the show even started oh, fun. and so when I found her character because her character wasn't in the pilot so when I found her character he had known her from a play and I was like oh she fit right in and people and she kind of looked like me yeah. so people ask me all the time is that TV family my family I'm Yeah. Like, fuck no these are the actors if you an didn't um, play yourself portray yourself who would you who would take the honor of playing you me <laughs> Don't be trying to make me unemployed. <laughs> <laughs> the producer is here. She gets a phone call mid show. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I would I would want um Jake Gyllenhaal to play me. He'd have, he'd have to lose oh. weight for the role though. Jake Gyllenhaal. <laughs> <That's cute. laughs> I could cute. sit in the eye. He was he was in um he was in that gay movie with the Cowboys. Brokeback no, Mountain. Brokeback Mountain. That Brokeback wasn't Jake Mountain. Gyllenhaal. Yes, it was. Yes, it was. was it? Yeah. Who was the other one? The other one died. Heath, Heath Ledger. Ledger. Heath Ledger. Yeah. He's the one who died. Yeah. 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 Oh. Shortly after that. It wasn't AIDS. <laughs> it was an overdose. <laughs> <laughs> the other gay disease. <laughs> yeah, it's no. the other plague, Sleep, dear. Sleeping pills. No. Yeah. <laughs> the, uh, the, the new gay disease is monkeypox. That's right. Because uh, yeah. they only let gay people get it. And I thought... I was like, how the fuck has this got anything to do with gay people? Exactly. You put they put everything on gay people and monkeys. Mm -hmm. I'm like, I'm a regular person, <laughs> and, and I can get monkey pops, but you are gonna give my gay daughter a gay uh, uh, a That's monkey vaccine. pop vaccine? So yes. I'm just gonna take her ID and say I'm gay. Yeah. And I'm gonna kiss somebody right there, and we're gonna get a monkey pop vaccine. Well, I didn't get the vaccine because I thought I was like, this is like, what a great way that the um. The government can just out like kill off all the gays. They give to like, only gays can get it, and they're giving us a special injection no one else can get. And then all of a sudden, five, uh, five years, everyone all the gays are dead. Yeah, you thought it was yeah. a conspiracy. I theory. thought it was conspiracy. Well, everything I, like I that. Like he that. always thinks it's a conspiracy theory. theory. A little bit in the beginning, but, it, but that yeah. is. Hey, yeah. isn't that weird? Only the gays here. We're something special for you. Yeah. Well, you know, they're gonna make you guys. What happened hey, to the Jewish hey, people? Hey, yeah. white people, <laughs> did you not see? Uh, could, what was that? That history movie about when they were doing that simply thing? Um, God damn it. The uh, syphilis. You remember the. Her name is Sandra. No. <laughs> what is that? Um, it's a movie. It's a movie they did about the lady when they was doing the whole thing with the syphilis and um, fuck, Quisha. Y'all know the name of that movie. I know y'all looking at me. <laughs> Where's Quisha? Um, is that the hairdresser? The green room, yeah. yeah, I knew it was. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, well, I know my people. <laughs> Uh, oh, Miss Evers Boys. Miss Evers Boys. Did okay. you not see Miss Evers Boys? No. And like, what is oh, it? Oh my Tuskegee experience. Yeah, That's yeah, the yeah. name oh, of it. Okay. Uh, you okay. you right? Because what they did was oh, they wow. wanted to. They, it was not a cure for syphilis. So they when they got the cure, they wouldn't give it to the black people because they wanted to see how black people react to syphilis versus how white people. So they put the cure at the White House pillar and just put did all type of bullshit to African Americans. It's a true story. So you're right. I wouldn't run and get the monkey yeah. poppy. I would let the straight people get the monkey pop vaccine. Yeah, first. So as of today, I'm gay. Yeah. And, and I'm not fucking with that Ain't vaccine. Because five years from now, my nipple fall off and I grow a big dick. I don't want that. Well, that the only reason cool. that gays are afraid of monkey pox is they heard they can scar. Cool. Huh? The only reason yeah, that the true. gays are afraid of monkey pox is they heard they can scar on their face. That's why, that's the only reason they're getting the vaccine. The f <laughs> too, bad, too vain. They don't want to get yeah, some scars on the their vein. <laughs> did you say the F word? I did, yeah. 
Oh. Well, why can't I say nigga? Oh, you can. You can. Oh, you can. I yeah. just let it rip. Yeah. I, w- I was excited. <laughs> I get aroused. <laughs> he'll, get, he'll get bricked up. I get aroused. Or not. The table not, will uh, levitate. I'm not going to say the F word. <laughs> Unless I'm at home and nobody yeah. got taken. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Unless she's in a traffic jam and gets cut off. <laughs> That's when you usually say the N word. That's about right. <laughs> say it in the comfort of your own home. <laughs> it's nothing wrong with being racist at the house. Just no. don't bring it outside the door. Yeah. And it's sure. not racist. It's just say, hey, how you feel that day? You exactly. Know, I don't hate gay people, but there have been times I called her that. Uh-huh. I hate everyone. She, me a <laughs> <laughs> she goes, wait a second. Wait a, se- wait a second. Rewind. A sec- Can we rewind the tape? I don't quite say that word, but I say, oh, with them Please LeBron James looking bitches. <laughs> <laughs> I, you know, when she came out and told me she was gay, I had, you know, I'm old school. So we used to say bull diger. And she yes, said, yes. A Frisco said, you can't, you yeah. can't say bull diger no more. No. It's, um, it's fucking, it's, it's cruel. Yeah. But my daddy always said bull digers. Uh-huh. It's barnyard pig now, I believe. <laughs> I believe it's What's a barnyard pig? Bull diger? Yeah, basically. <laughs> Son. So is it a bad word? Is son. Bull dyke? No, people say bull dyke. I mean, like, yeah. not like, it's not like an everyday that like word a, that, that people that use. That means like extra, extra butch. It's like extra butch. I mean, you're not going to be like... It's culturally, because you know, just like they have white pride and black pride, I think certain things are okay culturally. White pride is in a white thing. White people are called... Yeah. That's, that's called, that's called uh, the KKK, dear. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I was like, white pride. pride. Wait a second. <laughs> but, you know, in Atlanta, yeah. we have white pride separate from black pride. And then... What do you know, mean white what, pride? Yeah. What do you... Yeah, I'm that's confused. Racist. You it telling is, me... But- it's white people like can't have sex. White gays There's, can't have sex with black sex gays. You can, but they have. Oh yeah, white they're called pride bottoms. <laughs> so, so, so white pride is country music, and black pride is. But rap it's called music. white pride. White pride get more sponsors. It's than really called pride. white pride. Well, that's what we call it because that's when all the white people go to pride, and then the black people go to their pride. It's like oh, Labor gay pride. Gay pride. I thought you. I thought yeah. you meant white, like white, like oh, white no, supremacists, like like, like a fucking pride. like a march, no. like like the white power. I was saying white pride. I was like, what the? No. No, I'm just talking about pride like gay. She's talking think. about white people, right. fucking only white people, gay people. <laughs> I, thought you about- I thought she meant regular white people no. saying this is my white pride and black pride. I know you nothing fucking about crazy. No <laughs> that's why I said that was the KKK. I said, dear, that's just called the KKK. No. <laughs> She's talking about when all the white people get Go together to and say, together. we just gonna have white dicks out here today. <laughs> and then there's another one, just black dicks. Right. And what then they got one? a gay, and then all the dicks are together, and it's called Monopoly. No. <laughs> He goes no. <laughs> no, no. I gotta say, I gotta, I gotta say, in the gay community, black men are are, are preferred and favored. They're they're, they're yeah. like they're, they're yeah. like, um, what's the word? Not currency. They're like they're like a hot commodity. Like everyone wants the hot black guys. Mm-hmm. So to, you know why? What The fuck are you talking about? I'm not gay. Cox. Oh, cox. I go cox. Do they have bigger teeth? <laughs> yeah. Why he lay his arm on the table. Like that? The whitest arm ever goes out <laughs> on the table. <laughs> Yeah. Gay men love big chicks and they got, I, I, they got the biggest. Well, I can tell you one thing. You can watch Miss Pat season two streaming on BET Plus. Ain't no white pride or black pride. It ain't no big cocks over there. It's just good old TV making. <laughs> I don't know how I got pulled into this LBGTQ interview. H I L M L P. I do. I do. <laughs> you. You. But we don't okay. went from anxiety to asshole to monkey pop to I don't know what the fuck is going on. <laughs> Wait, Miss Pat, I saw on your phone this, your screensaver is a picture of you um, from the uh, this, your, your show. Do you just have to pinch yourself? Can you coming from humble beginnings and now where you are now you know but you know how big of a star you are now and how proud of yourself you should be like tell yeah. me what the experience is because i aspire to have the fucking fairy tale that you have right now that's fucking incredible you know i, I try not to think about the it's because i look at it all as work because you know i don't try to get in oh i'm this and that but i tell you my show was nominated for an emmy this year oh. and we was up against some great shows ted lasso um murder in the basement atlanta <sighs> and i'm sitting there watching looking and I'm saying, you know, where everybody's looking to win an Emmy, I was thinking to myself, I've already won. Absolutely. I I, I, I came from the bottom. I created a show. Uh, we created a show that didn't nobody want. Put us on a network that was brand new. BT Plus was two years going in. Oh, BT wow. Plus was two years going in brand new when we got there, which was scary. And we just worked our ass out to get the attention. And I sat there at the Emmy and I said, I don't give a fuck. If, if they're going to give me that dust collector, that's what I call them, all trophies. They take them home and put them in the closet. <laughs> if they're going to give me that to certify me, but the nomination, let me know that you see us. Absolutely. And that meant every fucking thing to me. 
And, and yeah. so that's the only time I kind of really thought about, you know, the hard work that I've put into the TV and the stand up and stuff like that. That's really inspiring. It is. Thank you. Thank and you. And BET Plus is only around still because of your show, I'll say. <laughs> <laughs> you, kept, you kept the lights on yeah. over there. We want to say thank you so much for coming by. We know you have to go do another show here, but we it's really not appreciate funny it. As ours. It's not going to be as good as ours, oh, but, it will, I, but I it will be fun. I bet it will not be. <laughs> <laughs> we covered a lot of ground, like Joey said, but again, watch the Miss Pat show streaming on BET Plus, Paramount Plus. And Amazon. You and can also Amazon. get it through Amazon. It's free through Amazon if you, at BET Plus is. And do you have any um, stand-up shows or anything else you want to plug before we uh, let you get out of here? Uh, go to misspackcomedy.com and get tickets. That's MS. And also, I will be here for the Comedy Festival in November. I'll be performing at Caroline's all weekend. Oh, all right. We'll get tickets to that. Thank you for joining us this time. Thank you for coming in, um, Ashley. And we'll see you next time on Out and About. Bye, guys. Oh, thank you. <laughs>